I've stated in previous videos how I've changed the way I make my connections within the consumer unit when I'm carrying out my continuity of CPC and polarity test. So what I did in the past, I used to disconnect my line conductor out the top of my circuit breaker and put it onto a crocodile clip, and then the other crocodile clip onto the earth bar where my CPC was connected. And then I moved away from that, and I started taking my line conductor out and putting it into my earth bar to make the connection between line and CPC. The problem in a college situation with that is the amount of times we have to keep undoing the screw for our circuit breaker and therefore it becomes damaged and then that circuit breaker needs replacing. Is there an easier way, especially in a college setting? Well, I found one of these. It's an R1 plus R2 link, which means you can leave the line connection in the top of the circuit breaker connected and link between that and the earth bar where your CPC is. Let's take it over to the table and let's take a little look at this R1 plus R2 link. So I've got my R1, R2 link here. We've got a posi head here, which is magnetic, which will sit on top of the circuit breaker screw. So we don't have to undo it and hopefully it'll hold in place nicely. And there's a crocodile clip. So let's pop that open and have a quick look. So a reasonable length lead, which is nice. And a good strong action there on that crocodile clip. So we're hoping the magnetic section of this will sit on top of that circuit breaker screw. If we're gonna use it, we need to remove the resistance of it before carrying out a continuity test. So we put our link and our leads together. We've zeroed out. Let's give it a go and see if it will sit nicely on top of that circuit breaker and on the earth bar where the CPC is. I'd love your feedback in the comments about this as well. So let's clip it onto the earth bar. It doesn't matter where it goes, obviously brass bar. And then we're just gonna take that and hopefully with a magnet, there you go. So that's, you could hopefully see how that's just stuck onto the top of the circuit breaker there. So meaning we don't have to undo the screw. We've now linked the line, which is still connected through to the CPC. And if I go to the lighting point, I'll be able to carry out my continuity of CPC test. I'm not gonna carry out the full continuity of CPC and polarity check. It's about now checking to see if that link is working. Has the top of the circuit breaker been linked to the earth bar? How am I gonna prove that? Well, I'm up at the lighting point. I've connected my crocodile clip onto my CPC. We're using the two plate method in here. We've talked about that on the channel. And my other probe is gonna go onto the switching line connection. So as I probe into there, and then I look at my test instrument, I've got absolutely no reading whatsoever. So it could be the connection from the top of the circuit breaker to the earth bar hasn't been made, or it could be that I've broken the connection as we naturally do at the switches. So if I come across to one of the three switches controlling this circuit and operate it, and then we go back to my test instrument, you can see we've got a reading, it'll jump around a little bit, I've got a reading of 1.3 ohms approximately. So therefore, we've turned it on. So that connection therefore must be made in the consumer unit, linking the top of the circuit breaker to the earth bar. Aren't the simplest ideas often the best ideas? I think this R1 plus R2 link, especially in a college setting, is a great idea. It will reduce the number of times students need to disconnect their conductors out the top of a circuit breaker so they can link it to their CPC and carry out that continuity check. And by reducing the number of times that screw is operated, that means that circuit breaker will last a lot longer. And how simple was it? It was a posi-headed screw with a magnet behind it that will stick to the terminal of your circuit breaker, linking the line connection all the way through to the CPC so you can carry out that check. I hope this video has been some help.